Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. My name is Ulske and today we're gonna actually take a little look at some scary videos. But first of all I just want to thank you all for the support on the last video. I mean it's been pretty amazing to see all the views, uh, likes and the nice comments. So thank you so much and we are actually just 9 subs away from hitting 400 subs. I mean that, that that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So obviously if you're new here. And if you like, uh, it's, it's pretty okay, I guess. Please leave a subscribe so we can get to 400 because that would be very nice. So yeah, I felt like watching another scary video today because a lot of you of the new subs came from the reaction video. So I thought that it would be a pretty good welcome to watch another one. And for the ones of you who really like when I'm playing horror games, I will play a horror game and upload it on Friday I think because tomorrow I work till 7 p.m. So I doubt that I will have the energy to do it tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so today's video is from from Scarify. And the video is you won't be able to watch this at night. Scary yeah, paranormal videos. I mean it's not night, but uh, it's closing in. I mean it's almost 9 p.m. So I guess. Pretty much a little bit night. Okay. But yeah. Before we start. In the description. You have a link to the channel. Go down there. Subscribe. And uh, show me some support. Because he deserves it. So yeah. Uh, let's go. Hey. Is this a spoiler? What's going on? Okay. I, I don't know. Someone is rocking in the chair. And it's not there. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it was a spoiler or not. Oops. Welcome to Scary Fun. Thank you, thank you. I have received a very interesting video from one of you. It was filmed by the viewer's brother near his family town when he came across an old abandoned farmhouse while walking with a friend. Ooh. There are many such buildings but only a few of them are in such good condition that it looks like the time has simply stopped. And it just so happened that this was one of such places. But as soon as they went inside, they quickly realized that something felt wrong. Okay, let's take a look. Investigate a bit. Oh, cool. Oh, cool, oh, yes. Okay, I don't know if I agree with the statement that it looks like time has stopped. I mean, okay, depending on how old the building is, it looks pretty nice, I guess. Okay, that was way too fast. I don't know what they said. Okay, something is gonna... Dying here? What? What do you mean, head cover? Oh! Okay, yeah. So obviously, the kid is sitting in the lap of someone here. Okay, oi, oi, oi. Whoops. And that kid looks pretty scary as well. <laughs> uh oh. No, but you do. Good idea. <laughs> okay, that was a bit strange. Oh, cool one. As soon as they went in, they were greeted by a rather unusual sight. On the table was a cross, an almost burnt out candlestick, and some very disturbing photos. And one of them is really special. A terrifying photo shows three children with only one face covered. The facial expressions of the people in the photo alone can be scary, but the most terrifying Ooh. thing is that the photo is very similar to post-mortem photos which were still quite popular at the beginning of the past century. And in what? such a photo, it was common to cover the face of a living person. Oh, uh oh. So, is it actually the case here? 
If so, what dark secrets does this farmhouse hide? Perhaps soon, one of the ghost hunters will decide to visit this place at night and we will get some more info. For now, we have to be patient. Okay, looking forward to it. Okay, well, that, that was a bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. But obviously, I mean, someone could have been there, planted the photos and stuff like that to make it look a bit creepier in there. But at the same time, it seemed to be a bit abandoned. So I'm not sure why someone would. So I mean, yeah, but the photos are still very creepy. And then, yeah, it's on my, it was pretty weird. Child's room. It is late evening, the parents are relaxing in their cozy room after a long day oh, nice. and their little child is slowly falling asleep. Suddenly, the evening silence is broken by a loud scream coming from the child's room. Oh wow! The terrified mother quickly runs to see what's going on, but fortunately the child is just fine. But what has put the daughter in a state of extreme fear? Luckily for us, the camera installed in the room recorded the whole incident. Okay. Hey, can you play with me? Uh, sure. I'll play with you. Do you want to jump with me? Yeah. I mean, I, I, this little doll here, she is very suspect. What, what is she up to? Sitting here looking creepy. Bling, 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 bling. Uh oh. Of course, it's under the bed. Don't look. Uh oh. What's going on? Uh oh! Okay, I don't, I don't like it. Oh, yeah. What's going on? I mean, we are for sure taking in this little shit for questioning. I don't know, don't trust you. I mean, this is making me paranoid. While playing, oh! the child's attention was caught by a small light that showed under the bed. Some people in the comments claim that a kind of distorted voice can also be heard on the video at this exact moment, but I can't really hear it. Really? Nevertheless, the child decides to check out the source of the light and is somehow pulled under the bed. You can imagine the mother's fear when she first saw the camera footage. Things like this happen in horror films and no one can even imagine that they could happen in their own home. To make matters worse, it didn't stop there. Oi. Two days later, after calming down, when the mother decided to check the room thoroughly and especially to look under the bed, she experienced some... I mean, that, that's a very beautiful home. I mean, it's very unfortunate if it's haunted. ...something really terrifying. So I've been getting a lot under of the questions. Um, people have been asking me, have you been in the room? Have you guys looked under the bed? No, we haven't. Or are we going to? The last two days we've been a little scared. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I 
I mean, it doesn't matter how old you are, if you're a kid, if you're a grown up. Under the bed, still a scary place. Okay, I mean, I can't see shit there. You need to give me some light. Hey, what's that? Hey! <laughs> what the f Is that- Is that, um, hmm? Is that an actual kid or is it, is it a doll? I mean, it's moving. Okay, I do, you know what? I was pretty calm, but this went from zero to Got them crazy real quick. Okay, oof. I'm sorry if I paused, but I, you know, I wasn't really prepared for it. I got a bit scared, even though I know, you, I know I'm pretty brave usually, but okay. Oh. oh my God. Laying under the bed, an extremely realistic, almost childlike doll suddenly moves by itself. And we can't blame her for running away, because any of us who saw something like this would probably do the same. Mommy, is Internet it the doll? users who observed the whole situation immediately concluded that the doll was mechanical, but the author of the video swore that she had carefully checked the doll and- I mean, sorry. Sorry for pausing again, but... That's not a doll. I mean, no way. It, it looks exactly like a real kid. That's no doll. I mean, how does it look for you? I mean, nah. At all, and it had no mechanism, it simply couldn't move by itself. However, there is a possible explanation for the whole situation, and it might have something to do with the house itself. So a lot of you guys have asked me if we've done any research on the house, and I did. Um, I found out that some of the past people that have lived here have had some ghostly encounters. Um, I learned that it was built near, not on, but near a cemetery. Oh. Um, of course. Yeah, I don't know. We're at a loss. We, we really love our home. We don't want to have to leave it, so we're trying to figure out what to do. Unfortunately, we can no longer follow this case. The author of the videos has closed her profile and we can only find these videos on Reddit. Huh. It's hard to say why she did it. Maybe she didn't want to draw too much attention to her house and family, or maybe she was just fed up with people making- I mean, I would have loved to see a follow-up video where she sh is showing this doll. I mean, that, that's a very big doll. And it, does, uh, it looks exactly like a real kid oh, okay i don't know i don't know what's going on here but i don't like it fun of her situation a real shame we can only hope that they got over it and that everything ended well especially for the little child true i mean i've said it before i really don't like when kids are involved even if it's fake that i mean that's even worse because that means that the parents are faking it and using their kid for it which is not nice but i mean if it's real that's also not good because uh, that means that the ghosts are kind of harassing a kid and I don't like it. So stop it. If you're serious. Thank you. Anthony hasn't been able to sleep properly for some time now. He has noticed that he often wakes up in the morning even more tired than he was before he went to bed. Same. There could be many reasons for this. Health problems, stress or even noisy neighbors. Anthony didn't know what was the cause of his problem, but one day he came up with the idea that he would try using a camera to monitor his sleep. And he expected all sorts of things, but he just couldn't expect to see something like this. For the, for the past week I've been waking up in a weird position with the neck back and finger. Oh! Uh oh. Oh 
Oh! Oh wow! Well that. Ooh. I admit, if I saw something like this on my own sleep video, I would jump into a pool filled with the holy water on the next day. <laughs> and while the footage yeah, is true. indeed impressive, we can't really verify it other than to simply believe him. True. So, what do you think about it? Are we actually looking at the start of something much bigger and possible demonic possession? Or is it nothing more than a simple fake made for paranormal enthusiasts? I really hope so. I mean, that went full exorcism real quick. But, I mean, if, if, if he's faking it, that's pretty impressive. Because, I mean, the movements he's making. If I did that, I would break every bone I have, I guess. And I would not be able to walk for a while. But, okay. I mean, that's why you're never recording yourself while you're sleeping. Because... You don't want to know, I guess. I think it's too early to jump to any conclusions, but below the video you will find the link to his profile if you want to play Paranormal Detective and check out this case on your own. Yeah, yeah, okay. Interesting. I mean, it's been good so far. The work of paramedic is one of the most important and responsible professions. After True. all, they are often the ones on the front line when it comes to saving lives. Unfortunately, it's not always possible to get people in need to the hospital in time and then such a person dies while still in the ambulance. And as we know, where a lot of people are dying, there is also a chance for paranormal. And so one night, two new paramedics experienced something really strange while on duty. And thanks to the fact that one of them decided to record the whole situation, we can see it too. Alright, so... I'm not sure how to um how to talk about this, but well, first of all, I've been an EMT just for a little bit, and like I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So, uh -oh. so as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. Uh oh, like. Some issues you can. I need to turn this engine off though, cause like we're gonna be stranded out here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, someone's standing in the back, no? Okay, maybe not, sorry. Oh, wow! Whoa! I ran the fuck out, okay. Reasonable, I guess. I don't know if you see it, but can can y'all see that back door? Like, it just, oh shit! Not me. Oh, like it just flew open. Like, can oh. Whoa! Nah, what the? F what was that? Can y'all see it? Oh, oh hell no! Nah. Fuck that! Nah. The driver saw someone in one of the mirrors while driving. The problem was that the vehicle was supposed to be completely empty, so we can't really be surprised that they immediately jumped out of the car. Of course, we could say it was just his imagination if it wasn't for the mysterious shadows running across the inside of the car, and even more than once. But it's unfortunate, because he kind of fucked it up when he put the finger in front, because the camera started focusing on the finger. So now it's very blurry here. That's very unfortunate. Also, the camera has a major problem focusing, and this could mm -hmm. also point to something supernatural. Ah, I'm sorry, not gonna be poor poop here, but it was because you know he put the finger in front of the camera and focused on the finger, you know. So, 
Oh, yeah, I, mean, I get what you mean. Paramedics aren't people who are easily spooked, and certainly they are not making fake TikTok videos. So what exactly happened to them that night? Was it actually the ghost of a patient who had died in the car in the past, just before reaching the hospital? Or was it something else? Be sure to let me know what you think about this in the comments. I mean, it's like you said in the, in the end. I don't see why two paramedics would fake it like that and go out of their way like that just to do a little ghost prank. So, I mean, it seemed pretty legit, which makes it very, very creepy. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it was a bit unfortunate that the camera started focusing on his finger so we couldn't really see what was going on there. But hey, it was good. For me at least, not for them, I guess. The following video comes from the profile of a girl who recently lost her father to whom she was very close. Oh, no. I thought very hard if I should show it to you because I have respect for the death, but what happened to this girl might help some of you if you are struggling with the loss of a family member. The situation I want to show you happened during the birthday of the author of the video. Happy birthday! Oh, whoa. Boy, oh, yeah. super speed. I don't know the details. All right, here, honey. This, the girl's got to have a present. This is from, from, my, from me. Yeah. Did you know? Should we have Yeah. Jackie, you want to get a knife? Oh, don't cry. I'm going to cry. Press its pass, sweetie. The girl's mother was well aware of the strong bond she shared with her father and as a gift gave her a teddy bear that spoke in his voice. And it was a really amazing gift, but what happened a bit later was truly amazing. What? What's going on? Okay, wow. What's going on? That is not As the happy girl listened to the familiar voice coming from the toy, the fire truck models standing in another room started the sirens at almost the same moment. Models that were broken for a very long time. What's more, her father was a retired professional firefighter and these models belonged to him. No one would make a fake video using the person so dear, so I think we can see the situation as completely real. I agree. It seems that the girl's father continues to watch over her despite his passing, and on the occasion of her birthday, he decided to let her know about it using his old toys. That is not worth. That is not worth. Okay, wow. Uh, I mean, it's when I see videos like this, I really, really hope that the paranormal, at least like this, is real. And like he said, I don't really think that I faked this either. So, I mean, yeah, it was nice. It was nice. And finally, we'll take a look at a short video coming from one of the paranormal subreddits. Its okay. author took a short break and went outside for a cigarette. And while the unhealthy addiction was satisfied, he couldn't get rid of the impression that someone was watching him. The problem was that no one was even around. After a while, uh -oh. however, he noticed something really strange. 
I see sh I see this shit. What shit? Oh, that shit. Yeah, that, that's one of those piece of shits. Oh, wow, that's actually a little bit this. What the fuck, bro? Try flipping the bird, see if you get a reaction. Oh, wow, that's actually kind of disgusting. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Super cool. Oh, yo, okay, we're going closer and investigating. Okay. Big butt pants on. In the window of a door of a smaller building, he noticed something that deceptively resembles a face. To make matters worse, this face seems to be looking straight at him. And the weirdest thing about it, whatever it was, after a while simply disappears without leaving any trace. It's also the fact that it kinda looks like a zombie. But that's pretty crazy, actually. Was it just a pareidolia? An illusion? Or maybe it was something we won't be able to explain so easily. I'm going to leave the decision up to you. I don't know. Wait. Okay, wow. That's okay, that's it. And you know what? Ooh, wow, that was something moving very fast. Probably not the ghost, but some lunatic on a bike. Oh, and then there's his friend. Wow, that's really fast. And a fur one. Okay, we out racing now. Whoops. And yeah, like I said, uh, a lot of them felt pretty legit. A lot of them was pretty creepy. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. And if you did as well, like I said before in the description, I have a link to the channel. Go in there, subscribe, and watch some of his other videos by yourself. And yeah, if you like this video with me in it, I would be very, very happy if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video and leave a comment. Yeah, preferably a nice one, but I mean, if you want to leave a mean one, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But yes. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.